Hello everyone, it's me, Savvy. Baru Building is the best location from any video game ever. There is no denial. So, I have decided to rank every version of Baru Building and see which of these holds up the best. Some of these will just be our mix, yet some other ones will be full-on playable worlds. These are based on my preference, so tell me down below what is your favorite Baru Building in the comments. With that being said, let's get right into it! 15. Crane Fever Part 2 from Kirby's Adventure A simple loop of the first notes of Butter Building, sped up and repeated over and over again. It's obviously something that you're meant to hear just for a few seconds while you're playing the Crane game. If listened for more than 10 seconds, it becomes more annoying than anything. Number 14, Taking It Easy from Squeak Squad. This one is interesting, to say the least. Don't get me wrong, it's not bad at all, yet the instruments used on this song, it's like you start blowing into a bottle. Flute like sounds go well with this song, yet it's a little bit too high pitched for my liking. Still, the song is a bop, yet as you'll see later, there's many songs which are much better than this. Number 13. Silent Seabed from Kirby's Car Whiskers. I love the instruments that play in the background at around 30 seconds or so. Yet when I listened to this for the first time, everything felt slightly off. The meows were a little bit too distracting in my opinion, but then I got my pair of headphones and it was miles better. Still, it ain't my favorite, yet it feels this style and gets a big thumbs up from me. Number 12, Learning Stage from Kirby's Avalanche. A slower, calmer version of Bar Building, perfect for a game of Puyo Puyo. Although simple, I quite enjoy this one. The instruments used here are top notch and almost come close for the original for me. The added beat in the background in the melee part makes everything more fresh. Number 11 Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS. The start is very good, peaceful and epic at the same time. There's a bunch of instruments to play that make everything feel more Smash bros -y, yet still keeping the butter building spirit alive. The thing is, yep, this song is called Butter Building, it's actually a medley of some Kirby's Adventure songs, so there's more stuff in it, and you'll realize this quick, as the song suddenly changes to Vegetable Bali. Take a listen. There isn't any sense of smoothness at all. It kind of brings this song down for me, yet the other transactions are great. Yet the story is just meh. The song then goes to Ice Cream Island and then Butter Building again, with this time a nice ass transition. Number 10 Super Smash Bros. Brawl. What was that? Well, this is the definition of don't judge a book by its cover, I suppose. The start of the remix has always turned me down for going the past four seconds. Yet this song is truly a gem. After the man introduction, we get a super energetic guitar part and then BAM! We get the Kirby's Dreamland theme after a snippet of Green Greens. Holy shit, this is actually a very freaking good remix! Then we get tossed right back into Butter Building and the song loops. Man, this song doesn't really let your guard down for a second. Just like in a match of Smash Bros. That's cool. 
Although the original butter building wasn't really something that energetic, I still find myself really enjoying this one. Number 9, Kirby Fires Deluxe. A great stage, it has two platforms, a top one, and one on the bottom that is spinning. Enemies come from the left and the right such as Bronto Bird, Laser Balls, some Starmen, and a UFO Kirby may pop out of nowhere, leaving some food behind. This song in the background is just literally a butter building, nothing that special. Although this is a playable version, the remix that you'll hear later, in my opinion, are much better. And there's also another Kirby Fires game with a much better version than this one. So I just said this because it may seem a little bit confusing at the start. So let's just move on to number 7 with Above the Clouds from Kirby 64. A bopping tune, one of the funnest remixes out there. It has a paradise -y feel to it all, which is fitting considering that this plays during a cloud level. The trumpets here are amazing for the song. All my boys vibe to above the clouds. Number 6, Tempest Towers from Kirby's Epic Yarn. This was a very tough choice, as these last two remakes are both amazing. Despite having a different name and a completely different stage design, this epic yarn level gives us a stunning version of the classic tune, keeping the same rhythm, yet making it feel much fresher. I really like this version, and it truly is one of the best remixes of this song. Number 5, Kirby Cafe. This one is the best song of the bunch. Calm, smooth, and perfect for a fun time. It's basically Kirby beats to study relax to, and I advise you guys to check this album if you get the occasion. Number 4, Kirby, Nightmare in Dreamland. What's better than hearing Butter Building, you may ask? Well, playing Butter Building is much better in my opinion. The world is the one we all know and love, yet I think something is a little bit off here. Yet it's still a wonderful world, yet the building ain't moving. The inside walls of the place are blue and dark colors that don't really fit the world at all. I can't believe it's not Butter. Well, this is still here on the list, as it is a faithful remake, it's fun, and the boss is very good, and the level design is top notch. Also, a little fun fact. If you hear the song at this part, it's actually the melee intro, but this one came before melee, so yeah, the melee intro inspired itself from water building. You know, I said it was the best location for many video game, I, I was correct. Number 3, Kirby Fighters 2, a much better remake than the original. Now, it's in HD, and this stage is way better. Not only does it include the original song, but also a bopping remix that screams traditional in Japanese. I personally really like it, and it's very suited for a fighting game. Take a listen. Apart from that, this stage is amazing and this is the only modern appearance of this stage. That's kinda sad. Number 2, Kirby's Adventure. This one is a classic, spinning tower, orange colors and the sensation of climbing a huge tower to reach the sun and moon, which, may I remind you, are fucking fighting and just everything is amazing. This is the original and sadly it shows, the game often lags 
and sadly kind of stinks sometimes. Nonetheless, epic boss fight. And finally, number one, 3D Kirby's Adventure. It's the same exact place as the original, but now it's in 3D, and now with a smoother frame rate and no slowdowns. That's it. Not much different, yet it does enough to make this miles better than the original and the perfect butter building experience. Before the shop goes down, grab your 3DS and buy this game. Get this game right now. It's amazing, especially the third work. And that, my friends, was ranking every single version of Butter Building. I know this was a little bit controversial, as from what I know, some of these are fan favorites. Some of these are very well-known remixes, and a lot of people prefer some remixes to others. Yet, this is just my opinion. Share your thoughts on Butter Building down below, and let's make a religion out of it. With that being said, Savvy out. Hope you have a nice day, and April Fools everybody, don't get fooled.